Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Orby3 NWO bringing you another Call of Duty gameplay and maybe my last Black Ops gameplay. I'm not sure. I'm getting a new computer on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, it's really, I'm probably going to take a little bit of break and kind of get that figured out. And then I'm going to start trying to do like maybe, you know, three, four videos a week if I can get the gameplays for them when Modern Warfare 3 comes out. But that's kind of what I want to talk about. I made a video last time in Modern Warfare 2 right before Black Ops came out that said why you shouldn't noob tube in Black Ops. Uh, it turns out they fixed noob tubing, and I think it had absolutely nothing to do with what I did. <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, just for for that you know for that sake, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video now, and this is why you shouldn't camp in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, that death right there should prove to you where I'm getting this from, <laughs> and if you watch the rest of this video, you'll see what happened in this in this game. It is uh, pretty rough. This is what I have to say. There are a lot of things that get called camping that aren't camping. So I want to talk about that first. In an objective gameplay, if you are guarding a flag, guarding a bomb, uh, anything like that, I'm okay with it. Uh, I understand it. There's an objective. You're playing it. Great. That's that's fine. You can still do what I call camping in objective gameplays, and, and it can be really annoying. Uh, what I consider camping is using a perk or an equipment to your advantage and not really... Not really to your advantage, but but more exploiting it. So like what most people would tell you in Black Ops would be ghost motion sensor sitting in a corner. Now, like if you're doing that on a bomb, I understand it. But if if you're away from the bomb, if you're away from the flag, if you're just in a corner hiding because you're so afraid you're going to die, that's what I, I want to get rid of or, or try and maybe get less of. And, and I have a really hard time telling anybody how to play this game. You spent the money on it. You can play it however you want. But I, I think that I don't know many people at all that are really like pro camping. There's defensive playstyles which are awesome. Uh, they should be in the game. They should always be in the game. Uh, it's a smart way to play. There's a huge difference there between defensive using cover, waiting for someone to come around a corner, and sitting in the exact same corner the entire game. Uh, you'll see people like uh, people that you would never uh, think of calling campers, like Sandy Ravage, people like that that they employ a really aggressive game style, but they're almost defensive at the same time. They use cover unbelievably well, but on the move. So you can do all that type of stuff while you're moving. You don't have to camp. And I think where it comes from is most they want to do good, and most of the time it's the players that just aren't really unbelievable at the game, and they feel overwhelmed. So they do that to, to keep their KD from getting crushed. Uh, what I would say is there are now things in Modern Warfare 3 that should make it where you don't need to do that to do well in the game. Uh, the number one thing is the support kill streak setup. It doesn't matter if you die now. If you run that, it, it does not matter if you die unless you're in like a free-for-all or a team deathmatch. Uh, in any other game type, you can run that. You can run them in that as well. You just, you'll still end up having a lower KD if you, if you die a lot. But in any other game type, you can die five times in a row. You, say you get a kill, Die five times, get two more kills, there's your three kill streak right there. It counts even though you've died in between there. That's that's what's so awesome about that. So if you're one of these guys that's struggling a little with the game, definitely use the support kill streaks, work your way up till you get better, and, and go from there. What what I really want to get rid of is the people that are absolutely not helping the team in any way. Uh, that are just sitting in corners, not paying attention, trying to get their kill streaks. And uh, that's that's what's annoying to I would think everybody, uh, maybe not everybody, but I know it's it's annoying to a lot of people. Um, and I think that really the the way the community's gone, we've gotten out of hand with blaming Ghost for stuff on Black Ops. I mean, think about it. How many times has someone killed you? And you're like, oh, Ghost, man, and then you turn out he doesn't even have Ghost on. <laughs> I do that all the time. But uh, but anyways. The problem isn't the perks. The problem isn't really the equipment as much. There's there's reasons they've made this stuff. The problem is that is the players uh, abusing it a little bit. I just want to get some awareness out there. Uh, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. What you think? Uh, if you think you know people need to keep camping, <laughs> feel free to believe that I guess. But uh, tell me in the comment section what you think. I really want to get a little push here. Maybe get a movement going. Uh, cancel out the camping. Do something. Uh, where we can just try and get away from it. Because I think that they've done enough stuff for us now with, like, ballistic vests. See, that's another thing. A lot of people would camp in games because they didn't want to get noob tubed. Or they didn't want it, but they've fixed so much of that. 
uh, that I, I really think you can play now without worrying about dying so much. They've also talked about narrowing down the hot spots on maps so that when you turn a corner, there's not eight different places for you to be shot from. So I think the game should be a lot more, I, I don't know, I haven't played it, but I think the game should be a lot more conducive to moving around more. You don't have to be a rusher. No, I, don't, I don't do that myself much. Uh, I don't expect you to go out there and play like Fear Crabs or, or Sandy Ravage every single game. Not very many people can. What I do expect is I would really like to see people get out of the corners, sitting on top of your motion sensors or your portable radars in Modern Warfare 3, and, and get out there and play. I, I think that's really where Ghost got crushed is so many people used it to camp. Ghost, I have no problem with it if, if you're moving around. The only time I care if you're using Ghost is if you're sitting on top of your motion sensor in a corner aim down sight. If you kill me using Ghost running around a corner or moving, I have no problem with that. And that's what's so crazy is basically all of the YouTube commentators, we cannot use Ghost anymore. Even if we rushed, I saw Thunderstruck put up a game where he rushed like crazy but used Ghost. And people crushed him for it. They're like, why are you posting this? And... I just don't get that. I don't think Assassin is going to be as big of a deal as everyone thinks. I really think that with the recon perk and the way that everything's set up, I think it's going to be okay if we just don't abuse it. So let's get that out there. Everybody, let's try and limit the camping a little bit. Uh, do what you can do. Like this video so other people can see it if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.